हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग सेंट्रल दिस इज चेतन नथानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट बिल्डिंग अ इंटरेक्टिव बार चार्ट इन डी थ्री जे एस सो फ्रेंड्स दिस सीरीज विल कंटेन थ्री वीडियोज एंड बाय एंड ऑफ थर्ड वीडियो वे विल बी एबल टू बिल्ड दिस काइंड ऑफ बार चार्ट सो इन दिस बार चार्ट वी हैव एक्स एक्सेस एंड वाई एक्सेस वी हैव थ्री बार वी हैव न्यूमेरिकल टिक्स एंड एल्फाबेटिकल टिक्स देन वी हैव सम स्मॉल इवेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्सपेंडिंग ऑफ दिस बार ऑन माउस होवर एंड टूल टिप विच विल शो स्मॉल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द डेटा विच दिस बार इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग एंड फाइनली वी विल हैव ड्रिल डाउन इफ वी क्लिक इन टू एनी ऑफ द बार इट विल शो ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ द डेटा एंड इफ वी क्लिक इट अगेन it will come back to initial form so scenario i have assumed that y axis contains number of sales and x axis contains the region so here we can see we have three regions canada usa and india in canada sales is about 13 uh, it's 1376 in india sale is 1219 and in sorry in usa sale is 1219 and in india sale is 534 now in our scenario we have assumed that our product has different model if we click chart will start showing number of models sold in particular region for example if we want to segregate data of usa we can click it and we can see here model 1 it sold for 87 units 185 units of model 2 is sold and then 140 of model 3 and so on so this is our scenario so as i have already mentioned we have broken down this series into three part in first part we will build a simple pie chart uh, sorry simple bar chart as as you can see in second part we will look into the small event for example this expanding of bar and tool tip and in third part we will look into drill down this one so let's go to code now before moving to code i want to mention three things here first thing is i already have the code and i'll be copy pasting that code for explaining you guys so that i don't confuse by writing the code on the fly second thing is i will publish that code into git and i'll share the location with all of you in the end of this video and third thing is we are using dot net mvc with visual studio as editor However, .NET MVC is only running at server, and it is being used to serve the pages only. Everything is happening on client side, so server side technology is not relevant here. I will share the client side code, and you can use that code with any other technology also. So let's move to the code now. So as you can see, we have empty methods here. and this is my html page so you can see uh, i have taken reference of jquery and dtjs i have taken version 2 you can take latest version also and in document ready i am calling plot function in plot function i'll be calling this build bar and transform da chart data that build bar is the function which will build our bar chart and transform chart data is the function which will change the data into desired format which will be needed by the tjs chart and this chart data object is the object json object which will contain our data it, it will be model for us client side model basically a json object and chart option is json object which will contain different config option of for our chart for example what are the values for x axis y axis etc so let's go ahead first of all i'll fill the chart data object sorry uh, i'll fill the chart options object and here you can see it defined captions for example our data has a field name india and its name will be india our data has a field name canada its name will be canada our data has a field name usa and its name will be displayed as usa for example our field name has um, name as uh, usa and you want to display as united states so it can be done here 
second thing is does is provides different colors for different bars third thing is it defines what is the x axis value and y axis value that is field in our chart in our uh, json object which will contain x axis values and y axis values now i'll populate this chart data object as you can see this is our model for example this country usa and model 1 has sales value of 487 for country usa model 2 has sales value of 185 and so on so now let me define this transform data function as you can see it is changing our json object into the desired form which will be another json object which will have column x where name y where name and what are this x where name y where name it will be this y axis and x axis of this option option object which is y axis is total and x axis is country so here total is total amount of sales and country is country name so our desired object will have x axis and y axis from our data then it will have caption it will have title and it will have column call op which will be used in later charts now let me define this build bar object which is a main uh, sorry build bar method which is a main method so let us first define a placeholder and this placeholder will be a div and that the the thing that select method will select a object with class as inner count inside this div so let us see in our html we have this chart object which will be behaving as a placeholder for our d3 chart and inside this we have another div object with class name as inner count fair enough so let's move forward so now let's define our margins length and width height and width these are self explanatory then here i am declaring some variable and assigning values to as i have already defined i already plain x axis value and y axis values i have taken that into some variables and now i am changing my chart data into arrays first one is x axis array second one is y axis array and third one is caption array so that chart data will already be transform object so let me define let me um, call these function for you in plot so that you can understand it will be like this first of all this transform data will transform the json data we have into desired json object and then we'll call build bar in which this chart data will be passed and this running data is the output from this transform data method you can see there are two outputs running data and running colors these are defined in global scope It's not defined so we have to define it so let's define running data and running color so here is how scope goes in transform data this chart data is been passed and this chart data is populating this running data and running color and from this running data and running color we are getting our x x array y array and caption array so let's define this running data and running color here is how scope goes in plot we are calling this transform data this transform data is transforming our chart object into desired json object uh, sorry this uh, chart data which is a json object into desired json object and these desired json objects are running data and running color and this running data and running color we are getting some x array and y array which will be using in our chart and caption array as well right so let's move forward now let's define our scale so we have a uh, ordinal scale for x axis and a linear scale for y axis and a ordinal scale for color so if you want to know more about scales you can watch my introduction videos on dtgs so here we have defined scales now let's initiate our chart here you can see i have appended a svg and i have assigned width and height attribute to my chart object now let's define our bar so here is my bar object so we already have a scale so let us let's define our x axis and y axis so as you can see we have defined x axis and y axis and we have defined different attributes like tick format and all these things in both of these axis and how many ticks will be there all these things now let's bind our bars with data so as you can see height of a bar will depend on 
the total number of sales for that particular selection particular item and now let's fill these rectangles that bars with some colors and that color will be picked from this color color scale and then let's decorate our chart so we'll be assigning that axis text here that one this one x axis text here so let's decorate x axis and y axis text here and finally our chart seems to be finally our chart seems to be over let's save it and let's try to refresh it so as you can see our simple bar chart is ready so that's all friends thank you for watching this video in next part we'll be looking into some simple events of this bar chart for example tooltip and expanding of bar chart into mouse over that is mouse over event and tooltip and in third part we'll look into data drill down of this bar chart so we'll end this video here and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe if you like content of our video please hit like button and if you have any queries question or suggestion please leave a comment we'll be replying to every comments on this video thanks thanks for watching bye and cheers